Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. A little slow start to my morning, but that's okay. It is summertime. Today is actually the first day of real summer, oh, which is so nice. Love summertime. We've had summer weather here for a little while, but it's been very enjoyable, very nice. Been enjoying going out in the pool and getting that afternoon sunshine and just going, all right, breathe life back into me. <laughs> So today I was like, hmm, what shall I do today? Because I do, like, it doesn't get super, where I live up on a mountain, so the sun, the way it comes and cast in our yard doesn't really happen until afternoon, about one to two o'clock in the afternoon. And then from two o'clock on until about seven, you have a good amount of sunshine in the pool. But up until that point, it's kind of like, eh, you just stay inside and kind of get things done. So I thought, well, what can I do today? So this last, like for the whole year, like some people do spring cleaning, some people do fall cleaning. Myself, I do like monthly cleaning, but not every month. So the way some one of my viewers asked me about my cleaning schedule. So that's what I'm gonna talk about right now is cleaning schedule. So if you don't wanna hear this part, you can fast forward to the, the actual day life, <laughs> which I'll put like a timestamp right here. So um, for cleaning schedule for our home, it's changed in the way that we do it. It's changed over the years how I do it. It just depends on the seasons in life for myself. Like my daily cleaning, usually I get it done on a Monday. That's done. Most of my clean, like my house is pretty much cleaned up for the whole week on Monday. The rest of the week, it's just like the daily stuff I have to do, like dishes and laundry and maybe floor if it gets dirty. But, and then we do like a deeper clean of the different rooms. Like we don't always clean fan blades. We don't always, you know, get in and clean out the couches, things like that. Those are reserved for the deeper clean day. Some people just do that on their spring cleaning, their fall cleaning. So back in the day when I had a lot of little kids at home, we did do a once a year, like deep clean in spring and fall, but I found that it took me like weeks and I was like, I literally would take, like it'd take a week, I would take one day, I would focus on my living room. Another day I would focus on one bedroom. Another day I'd focus on a bathroom. And so that's how I did it back then. It just, that was the way it is. But my house was tore up for like two weeks because I would be deep cleaning a living room and find all the stuff to like get rid of. So I'd put it like in another room just to storage. And then the next day I would do a bedroom and I'd get rid of all these clothes and we had to transfer out clothes for seasons. And so there was always like a big pile of mess. So it was like chaos for like two weeks. And that was okay. I mean, it worked. <laughs> But for now, what I did then, well, then, then I just got better, more efficiency and time and able to think about things and plan things and manage things. And so what I started doing is once a month deep cleaning. So what uh, that means is that each month we go through and we do a little bit of deep cleaning so it's not so extreme. So instead of cleaning your refrigerator once a year or twice a year, you do it every month. So it's less work, does that make sense? You do a little bit more and then it's not such a big mess if you just did it once a year. So what I had done back back in the day, I say back in the day, but back when I first started is, I'll put like a link to like these charts and stuff that I made up. I don't do them now because like I already know in my head everything I have to do so I don't write everything out like I used to do. But I used to, I literally would sit in my living room, this is how I started to do and I sit in my living room and I'd look around and I'd be like okay what are all the jobs that need to be done in this living room so I'd look around and be like okay dust the fan blades wipe the walls you know change the air filter um, clean the fireplace out vacuum the couches wash you know carpet clean the couches and you know dust real good wipe like all these things like everything that I would have to do windows window sills I mean just everything you do I wrote that all out on a piece of paper got a notebook piece of paper wrote everything out and then what I did is I wrote down I'm like what are things that need to be done daily so daily it was pick up and then fan blades you know that's the deep clean part of it I don't have to do that every single every single day that's just you know the once a month and then it was like maybe there was something weekly I had to do like dusting because we didn't have to do that every day so I put weekly I put a little W there and so broke it up that way and then what I did is I took that list I did that for every single room in my home and so then I wrote I did, this takes some time this takes time to plan this out and then I took that sheet and I typed up all of the chores that I would do for a monthly cleaning. I typed them all out on a piece of paper. So I have all the work that has to be done for monthly. And then what I did is I took my daily chores and then wrote them down and divided them up between myself and like the kids. And then I did weekly, like if it was like dusting. So then I thought, well, what day of the week do I want to dust my living room? And then I wrote that on our little weekly chore chart. And so that's how we broke up doing our chores that way. So we've been doing that for a while. So the last few years have been a little bit busier 
I'm doing YouTube full time and you know, kids and seasons. I've got how many teenagers? Four teenagers right now. So life is a little bit busier. I don't always get to the deep cleaning. So I have intentions of it. If I want to, then yeah, I do it, but not, it doesn't always happen. So I'm so, like my kitchen, I'm like been like, things have been thrown every which way, all everywhere in wrong places and wrong nooks and wrong crannies. And I'm like, all right, I have to focus on doing a deep clean this month. So I thought this month I really did focus on I am going to focus on deep cleaning. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today in today's video. So last week I did the kitchen, which was really nice because that was a disaster. Now normally that's not my normal week of doing it, but it was so bad I like flipped it with the week of what I had to actually do that week and did it last week. So to this week's gonna be cleaning out my living room and my, what am I doing? My living room, my hallways, my little office area, the boys' bathroom, and the laundry room. That's my focus. That's how I broke it up. I do my kitchen and dining room in one area because that's like pretty big. This main area is pretty big. And then the girls' and downstairs area is pretty big. And the other one is my bedroom and bathroom and stuff like that. So breaking it up into like zones is very helpful to be able to do that. So then what I've done. I have my little cleaning schedule right here. Someone asked to see my cleaning schedule as well. So who I rewrite this every summer and every fall because life changes. Like right now, Jaden is gone for most of the summer. She's working, she's nannying. So she doesn't have like specific day chores that she does because she might not be here. So I can't rely on her to wash the dishes if she's not gonna be here all day. So I don't put her on that. So what I do is I reserve the weekends for her to help on things. And if she's off for a day, then I'd be like, okay, you can help, you know, with such and chores and just do it that way. But what I did is I wrote down all the people that have to do chores. So myself, all the way across all the kids' names at the top. And then I have our daily chores. So I put our daily chores. So mine every single day, what I have to do is the pool rinse and I write my vitamins. And every single day, what Jensen does is give Ruby water, pick up his room, I put clean yourself, brush your teeth, and school and vitamins. And so that was just one for him. But whatever specific ones I wrote for each kid. And then each day, we focus on different jobs. So our Monday is pretty big. Most of our work gets done on a Monday because that's what we do for cleaning. Now the rest of the week, there's not a whole lot on there. So for Tuesdays, usually I, I wrote down like towels, if any, for Brooklyn. So if we have any laundry, she folds those towels and she does the girls' bathroom. And then Autumn does the boys' bathroom quick clean and straightens downstairs. Jensen does the dishes all day. It works better for us to do, have a kid focus on all day versus like you do breakfast, you do lunch, you do dinner. And then Madeline does straighten upstairs, um, vacuum if needed, and Stephen does fill the ice and coffee things. And then Wednesday, we have new jobs once again all the way across. And I even write down some for myself because I forget. Like today I was like, what do I need to do today? And so I'm doing my deep cleaning, but I don't have anything. But I did throw a little laundry in because there is a lot of towels. A lot of towels still. I just did all the towels yesterday. <laughs> so... This is how we break it up. So this is our chart for how we do it this way. If it was just me, it would just be changed. I would break all, the, all these up individually for myself. And you don't have to be very exact. I am exact because the kids need to follow directions and that's easier for them. And then what we do is we have a deep cleaning focus. And so each week, one, two, three, four, there's five weeks sometimes, mostly four. Four, I focus on a different zone. So the first week of the month, we focus. I focus on my room and my bathroom. Second week is the downstairs and the girls' whole room and the boys' room. The third week is this living room, hallways, boys' bathroom, and laundry room. Fourth week is kitchen, dining room, which we already did. I switched those around because I knew I had to get it done. So, and then the fifth week, I put areas that we don't have to clean as much, which is garage and freezers, because it doesn't matter if we don't get into those every single month. It's like every three months we have that fifth week. So that was how I did it that way. And then I focus on making sure the bedding gets clean. We do wash our bedding more often, but at the minimal, at the minimal that I do, in case I forget, at least once a month. So maybe that's not enough for people, but it works. <laughs> so I wrote down to make sure, then that way I remind them, get your bedding out so we can wash it. So that's how we do our tours and our deep cleaning focus. And so, like I said, this month I wrote down to do it because I haven't been very diligent about getting it done. So last week I did my kitchen and dining room. So I feel like, all right, that area is done no big deal if we keep up on it it stays pretty good but if we don't and it gets a mess then you know what the next month if it's a disaster i can clean it out again so that is how we do things in our household so today is going to be the living room here area and getting this area all cleaned up and ready to roll because that's how that's what we're going to do today and then i've got to make dinner we're going to spend the afternoon in the pool it's just it's a routine it's not a whole lot in the summertime but this is how we're doing things i don't have to go shopping i've got food i've got plenty so no need to do any of that kind of running today so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go put this way i'm going to get an earbud in and then i'm going to start in my um 
living room here getting things cleaned up it gets already picked up because it's been clean since yesterday but it's going to be the deeper cleaning things now i'll do some of it and then some i'll leave for the kids to do it just depends i'm just filming myself so if you don't see kids cleaning they are doing cleaning but they're just not doing it on camera because this is the channel about what i do in a day not so much what my family does in a day even though i tell you what they do so you guys are ready for a great day we're ready we're gonna make some dinner it's gonna be sunny. We're just gonna enjoy our day. Get your work done in the morning. That's my goal for summer is get my work done in the morning early, finished so that my afternoon I can enjoy. I can enjoy spending time with my kids. I can enjoy relaxing. I can enjoy doing the things that I would like to get done in my life. So that's my focus for, that's my goal for summer. Work hard in the morning, take the afternoons off. <laughs> So you guys ready for a great day? All right, let's go. First thing I'm gonna do before I start my deep cleaning is put together a storage bench. So I've got a storage, <laughs> when you have a lot of kids, you have a lot of things you have, you need storage. And so I've done a lot of different upgrades in the kitchen, upgrades, not upgrades. Instead of like re, like people will remodel their house to make it work better. Well, I don't, I can't do that. I mean, I could, but it, I just don't have that resources right now. So mine is let's get some kind of storage to, you know, fill things up like the white. That white little, um, that white little thing over there, to be able to store things. I was gonna have homeschool stuff, and I gotta do that today. And then the thing by my door. So another area that I needed more was in my office over there. My office is my corner nook. In my living room over there, that little corner is my office. So in my office, there's need for storage because I have things placed everywhere, all over the place. And so I just have that little corner, not a lot, but I'm like, I need something. I have a tiny little shelf. <laughs> Yeah, a table over there, like really tiny. It used to be the end table in here. And so I'm like, I need something a little bit bigger, not too huge, obviously, but it has some storage. So found this one from Bingley here. It's a little bench. I'm going to put it together. So let me get this put together first because I know it's got a styrofoam in there. Let me get off the floor. Then I won't have to worry about cleaning up when we're cleaning. And then uh, we'll put it together and see how it is. These are, this is good furniture stuff. I've got this downstairs. Our TV stand was Bingley. That white bench over there, or that white, not bench, white storage shelf is Bingley. So I, I know it's going to be good. So let me put this together.
Okay, got it put together, so this is nice. It's basically a shoe bench, but I'm gonna be putting over my corner of my desk as a storage thing because I have a lot of packages, a lot of books, a lot of things that I get that I stick over there in my corner. So I will put over here in the space and have a nice little place to sit, so that's good. All right, now we're gonna get into our clean. I will get this organized soon enough. Okay, this is where I'm gonna put it over here. This works, I've always wanted something I can either sit on or place things in. So I have that little gray table, that will get moved somewhere else, but this is gonna be good for storage. I like that wood. I never thought I would like that wood. We got the gray tables at like TJ Maxx. When we got the furniture, didn't love them, but they're okay. So then I've been trying to get stuff like this. And I just like that wooden kind. We have a table over there as well next to the white one. Just things that match a little better. So I was glad to fit that in there too. So this will be nice. Nice little storage there. Hold my stuff. Keep it organized. So I'll put that one link below because it's inexpensive. You can get it. Mingley, it's been a good company. The stuff that I've been getting lately and helping to organize my home. So, all right, now we're going to start. Start with the deep cleaning. Let's start with dusting. Fan blades always. I do the ceiling I like to go around through the walls and just do a quick wipe just to get any kind of dust around just go around your room real quick Now all the dusting is done. I don't have to go through and wipe the walls as much. I'm just a quick rag and just kind of wipe a few things where I saw drops, but when they were little, I had to do this all the time. It's just not the case anymore because the kids don't touch the walls like they used to. We have this huge basket of blankets. I'm just gonna wash them all and hang them outside because it's hot enough to let them hang out.
Okay, so I don't show everything that I do. So normally, like cleaning wise, um, like right now I might get, I might do the inside of the couch and do, and then I'm gonna carpet clean the couch. Well, I'm not gonna do that myself. I've got kids that are lined up to do that today. So I'm doing the minimal of work that I'm gonna do first, and then they're gonna come up and do all those things. So what I want to do is, yes, they can dust these off, but I thought I'm gonna wipe these off and make sure these are clean. These are our little tables that we have. I had to move this over here because I traded a table. Like I did this last time and some got busted on it. But we're gonna hope that it can stay good on there. So just nice to have a little table here for if you wanna put a drink here. Not that anybody drinks a drink out here. Normally it's us, like the parents. Very rare with a child. So this is good here, but I have the gray tables. But again, I like more of the um, wood ones. So maybe eventually we'll replace these and just use these elsewhere in the home. More like downstairs because they'll match a little bit better downstairs. So wipe this one off. Let's go to the other one. So many cords that we have here oh my goodness <laughs> so i'm just gonna go through keep the ones we need there's plenty that we do not i will recycle them somewhere else okay you can't just go through like the children's toys you gotta go through maxine's toys she was very happy to find her big giant hedgehog you've been missing this haven't you she's like yeah i just got her these i don't know do you like these i think she does she doesn't like this, this that like scares her, so that we're gonna get rid of. You don't like this. No, she doesn't like that either. She likes the bacon balls. That's about it, you like those. So we're gonna, we'll keep these and then we'll put the rest. There's your little basket. Here you go. Okay, we'll get rid of the toys that scare her. Ruby doesn't like them. Nobody likes them, too scary. It's okay. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing, Mom? So now that we're done with school, I'm gonna take a lot of this stuff and put it in that cabinet in my kitchen just for storage of it. And then uh, just leave the stuff here that we do need to use for the summer. Okay, so this is gonna be my cabinet of, you know, appliances and school stuff. So I'll put this on top because it's a little bit lighter. Ooh, that won't fit though. have things everywhere, right? That's, it's quite all right. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, so that's good enough. This school stuff will be on here. That's just the extra papers, folders, that kind of stuff. So then that shelf is a little bit more cleaned up. I've got stuff sitting over there, but that's gonna be stuff we're gonna use like on a daily basis, so it's good. So I will just keep this basket, and this will be our library basket right here. And this will work, this here, and then our school stuff right there. I do wanna dust off the shelf. I do have my pencil sharpener on here, but I'm gonna dust off the back, um, you know, the vent back there. Okay, the great thing about life is I'm gonna be done in there. So I'm gonna save, I've got my living room done. The rest of the stuff the kids are gonna do. So my desk area, I'm gonna clean that another day. I wrote that down because I have, um, I wanna organize that and I just don't have the time today. So I wrote that on my list for a future date. I will get that done. And then it's like the hallways are done. The girls are gonna wipe a little bit on the wall. The bathroom, the boys' bathroom is gonna be deep cleaned. We're starting to deep clean, just like wipe the walls and stuff. And then the laundry room, I'll have them wipe around the frame and just wipe the walls on the inside to get the dust off and then also do the, um, the floor easy and like that's something they're doing but that'll be part of the deep clean so now i can focus on getting dinner made today chicken and dumpling casserole made this last couple weeks ago the kids really liked it it's easy put together i'll put the recipe on the screen okay so i've got my onion and celery cut up here so i'm going to melt some butter here 
this, what they did is they sauteed these veggies and then you added your mixed dry ingredients together and a little bit of broth and made like a batter and put it in here. I'm gonna do a little bit backwards because I have frozen chicken. My chicken is frozen salad. So I'm going to saute my onions and pepper, or my onions, celery, garlic, salt and pepper in here and then put my chicken in here so that's all thawed and cooked. And then I'll make the batter part to this. I just put everything in here because these are frozen salad and that will kind of steam up and cook at the same time. Isn't it? And then it'll cook it real good. Since I'm doing this a little bit backwards, I'm going to let this sit in here and get, um, you know, like I said, cooked and turned. I got turned up a little bit. And then I'm going to mix up my dry ingredients over here to add to it. I'm gonna make my liquid mixture here. So it's four cups of chicken broth. I don't have any chicken broth, so I'm gonna add this in here. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to keep mixing up, and then I'll just keep stirring all of it together. Okay, so the chicken is all thawed here, so I'm just gonna add this mixture to it. And stir it up. This is a nice little mixture. I'm gonna add peas. I'm gonna add mixed vegetables to it. Just let they heat up for a minute. Okay, so my mixture is done, cooked, it looks delicious. I'm gonna put it in my nine by 13 pan, and then I'm gonna mix up my dumpling mixture in the same bowl that I did with my flour mixture, and then we're gonna plop it on top. Last time I did big scoops, I need to do smaller scoops, so I'll do smaller scoops. I don't have any milk, so I'm gonna use powder milk in there, and then I'll add water. I never measure, so I get myself in trouble. I had to add more. All done here. So this is finished. As much as I don't want to turn my oven on, that's okay. I turned it on. So I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. It's almost there, and then I'll take um, cover it for 10 minutes just to cook the dumpling mixture, and that's it. And that'll be dinner tonight. I have applesauce or watermelon in my refrigerator. Easy meal. This is something we enjoy, we like. Even though it's hot outside, it will work and do good. So, chicken and dumpling casserole, all finished. My kitchen's cleaned up. I'm gonna do a few dishes. I'm done for my day. All right, can you tell where I was? In my pool. So, got to get outside with the kids for a little bit, get a little sunshine in me, get a little change in our day. That was good to do. So, dinner is done. It's in the oven here. Let's see. Oh yeah, it got a little crispy. It just got a little brown, but it's good. I'm sure it's delicious. That's really good. Last time I didn't cook it, and their biscuits were kind of falling apart. Those are a little bit better, so that's good. So, my day is done. Let's go in here. When I was outside, let me shut my lights up here. When I was outside, the girls um, did a little bit of work in the house, so the, vet cou the couches got all cleaned, so that's good. Blankets came out of the dryer. We got to fold those and put those in the basket, but everything got done, so they did all the extra little cleaning that I didn't do, and they got that finished. We just got a couple um, bedding that was hanging outside. It's dry because it's so, so hot outside. A couple of the bedding that we put outside, we just let dry because it uh, it's so hot outside. It's nice and dry hot, so that's a good thing, so I'm finished. What I'm going to do now is pull my footage off here and edit today's video before we have dinner tonight and call it a day today. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember you are designed, created, 
and selected by God to do great, wonderful things on this earth. And it's an amazing adventure. Just walk in what he has for you. Don't let people tell you no. Don't let people tell you different things than God tells you. You listen to God. So have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Okay, bye.